like a hazy purple uh, rain, right? Not raining quite yet, just right now. It's gonna come a little bit later. Washington Monument for you there in the center of your screen, in the middle of that haze. We have another shot to go to. Oh yes, Baltimore Ooh. Zoo. The penguins. Always love seeing them out and about. Looking very dapper this morning. Good morning, Mr. Penguin. Or Miss <laughs> Penguin, I'm not sure. But love our friends when they tag along. Hey, Michelle, so we did talk about the changing forecast. I've got my eye on that Wednesday because, man, does it take a dip then. I know. And Tom posted something on Twitter uh, the other day. What was that again? What did you post? Oh, it was the Randy. Randy. From, from, uh, the, from a Christmas story. From a Christmas story, all bundled up. That's going to be me. Uh, <laughs> All of us. Uh, this is going to be all of us on Wednesday because it is going to feel blustery and cold. So, yeah, at least we have some 60s for today. It will be unsettled for us for the afternoon hours and then maybe a rumble of thunder or two, believe it or not. Windy and brisk as we take it into the early week and then mid to late week, our pattern turns dry and just very cool. So check out the temps across the area right now. Uh, not as bad as yesterday morning, seeing a lot more 50s across the board. 43 in Frederick at this hour. Good morning to you. 48 in Gaithersburg, 53 in the district and 54 for Annapolis. I wanted to show you the winds yesterday. They were coming out of the north, northwest. Now this has shifted a little bit and they're coming out of the south. Already starting to see a breeze pick up there in Quantico about 16 miles per hour. Now I'm showing you future wind gusts as we head throughout our Sunday. Could top out at maybe 41 there for a wind gust in Cumberland. Other than that, you're seeing 30s across the board. So it's going to be very windy this afternoon into the overnight hours. With that being said, we have a wind advisory in place could see some gusts up to about 50 miles per hour out for Western Maryland, West Virginia, and Western Virginia as well. So I wanted to show you the bigger picture right now with satellite and radar. We have high pressure that is leaving us that gave us some nice conditions yesterday, but you can't miss this. This is our next weather maker. This cold front will be marching its way here uh, slowly but surely. We'll start to see a few spotty showers into these early morning hours, early afternoon, then by the later afternoon. We'll start to see widespread showers, temperatures in the 60s, maybe a rumble of thunder, and then the breeze will also kick up. So future casts, as I time this out for you, notice the isolated showers around dinner time, starting to see them push through Washington County, Frederick County, down to Montgomery County, also through Virginia, and then just around the district. It clears out pretty quickly. Uh, by the time 9, 10 o'clock rolls around, temperatures will be falling to the 30s and 40s. You factor in the winds and it's going to feel pretty chilly out there as well. So a quick check of the tropics. Now we have a hurricane IOTA rapidly intensifying here and on its way to Central America. So still a very westerly track. Look at this rapid intensification just before once again it makes landfall and they are just recovering from Ada earlier this month. So really taking another hit here. Uh, it could just uh, reinforce some of the flash flooding there and some of those catastrophic uh, events that we could see play out here. So not a good situation for them. We'll keep our eyes on that. Windy and chilly, though, back at home. A dry and cool pattern continues. We'll see back to average temperatures pop up in our forecast for us as we return to next week. And hey, download that Fox 5 weather app. You can track those real time showers with me this afternoon. All right, Tom.